I'm at work and I've got a bit of a cold, so this is a bit different today. Can't really smoke anything at the moment, my throat's killing me. So um, I'm going to be comparing a few medicated snuffs. Uh, up first, the most popular one in our shop, which is McChrystal's. Um, it's made in Leicester, kind of a city just down, just a bit south from here. Um, one of our biggest, one of our biggest selling mental snuffs. Um, I think it is in Nottingham, I'm assuming it is in the rest of the country. Um, kind of a, a medium brown sort of colour. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like to give you a quick idea. Um, kind of medium moisture, clumps together a little bit on your fingers, but... does the job though, I'm bunged up like hell and that's burning its way through. I was using this one yesterday, I'm going to come back throughout the day to compare a few more. I've got some of uh, Wilson's of Sharrow Super Mantle, JH Wilson's Medicated 99, good old Hedges L260, so I'll be back very soon. Giving it a couple of minutes, I've got a really nice menthol I can still smell the citrus from the tobacco and stuff, but the unbox you know is a treat kind of getting down the back of my sinuses and it's beautiful, it works better than the Vix nose things just shove up your nose so um, yeah, number one of my medicated snuff comparisons McChrystal's very popular very popular with old miners um, so it just cuts through absolutely everything I can, uh, can breathe through my nose again now so yeah, like I say, I'll be back in a bit to do one of the other three, uh, not sure which one yet I'll decide, so um, yeah I'll take care and I'll catch up in a bit Snuff number two, this is a uh, J.H. Wilson's Medicated 99, um, owned by Imperial Tobacco. Looking at it, it's a little bit finer, a little bit finer in it. Same kind of moisture as McChrystal's. Um, kind of same consistency, but there's a few lighter tones in there. And ooh, It comes across very dry. Um, good burn off the menthol, but... Oh, same problem I have with um, one of the um, which one was it? One of the Irish Toast 22. So powdery, it runs down the back of your throat. But from medicated snuff, God, unbox your nose better than the uh, McChrystal's does. The scent's not as nice though. It's mentally, but there's nothing really, really to it. It's once the burn's gone, the flavour and it's practically died away already. So I have a couple more pinches of this. Might come back and give you a little bit more, a little bit more of an opinion, a little bit more of a review on it. But compared to the two, this JH Wilson's the blast on box you a lot better. But the dry, very finely ground snuff, it doesn't clump together very well. It just runs down the back of your throat. I really didn't like that with the, the um, Irish Toast Number no. Twenty Two, and I'm not a big fan of it with this, but. For a blast of menthol to unbite your nose, it works a treat. I mean, it is stinging a little bit, a little bit on the outside of my nose, but but now I can feel it all going down the back of my throat, and the burn doesn't, the flavour doesn't last as long. But I guess for a quick, a quick blast to unbite your sinuses, it's pretty good. But flavour-wise, nothing, nothing on the crystals. So time for video number three. This time it's uh, Wilson's of Sharrow's Super Menthol. Um, I've not had this one before. I have had some of their other menthols. Uh, the consistency of it, it's sort of a a lot like the other two, to be honest. A little bit more moist than the uh, JH Wilson's Medicated 99 I just had. That was pretty dire, to be honest. So, uh, ooh, God, that is super. That's very strong. Whew, it cuts through everything. Um, kind of does have sort of a citrusy sort of citrusy sort of uh, taste to it. But oh god, that's strong. That cuts through everything, and it's not powdery like the uh, the J H Wilson's either. It's not too bad at all, to be honest. It's uh, not too powdery. It's not too clumpy. It's not stuck up in chunks, but soon works its way down to the back of your sinus sort of thing. It's. Oh, so far out of the three I've taken, this unblocks your nose better than any of the others. I say the kind of it's a citrusy sort of finish you get to the aroma is very very nice. No, that's actually not bad at all to be honest. So for a menthol medicated sort of snuff, the three I've tried so far, 
Super menthol is by far one of my favourites. It is a bit stronger than the McCrystals, but really does a treat. Right, so I'm going to have a couple more pinches of this one. I did have a bit more of the J.H. Wilson's as well, and that stuff was bloody appalling. I think you can feel it all down the back of my throat. I think there's bits in my chest and all sorts. That was not nice at all. So um, I've only got one more to do now, which is the, uh, the Hedges L260. So I'll be back later with the Hedges review. So uh, like I say, I'll be back after the break. Very right, I'm showing you the tin label, or the snuff, so there's a nice bit of a close-up for you. Let's see if we can get it to focus in a bit tighter. There we go. So that is, that's the snuff, uh, it's Wilson's, Wilson's of Sharrow Super Menthol. Not the most popular menthol we do, but quite a popular one. Bye! Okay, so we're back with the, uh, the fourth snuff of this uh, marathon of medicateds. Um, I thought I'd leave the classic, the classic until the end. Um, this is Hedger's L260. Um, I don't have the exact details with me, but I know this was. A I'm sure this was originally given out on prescription in the UK. The L260 being the prescription number. Um, I could be wrong on that, so there might be some more information in the comments. So um, yeah, so down onto the hedges. Uh, as you can see, this one's kind of a similar sort of consistency to the others. Um, it looks very finely ground, a little bit of moisture in there, predominantly kind of a, a nice medium, medium, medium brown sort of texture. Um, feels quite fine, a little bit of moisture. It's a bit drier compared to the, um, what do we have, the super menthol and the, and the crystals. So, without further ado, let's jam this finger up this nose. Whoa! Oh dear, that's got some bite to it. And that wasn't enough. Wow. God. As you can see, it's eye-wateringly good. Um, very, very strong, just pure menthol aroma to this one. Um, it's kind of a souped-up version of the McChrystals. Jesus Christ, that's tingling. As with the others, unblocks your passages beautifully. And in fact... It's that strong, I can already feel it this far down my throat sort of thing. So out of them all so far, Hedgers by far is... Whew, gotta be one of the uh, strongest menthol snuffs I've tried. If anything, I'd say it's a little bit stronger than Red Bull. Um, I can't see it lasting as long as the uh, Radford's um, English snuff. That's kind of moist, it clumps in your nose and it lasts a while, but... The initial burn's dying down, but like I say, I can feel the menthol all the way down the back of my throat. Wow. So... To summarise, the four I've tried so far, I'm going to rank the Hedges L260 as one of the best medicated snuffs I've tried today. Um, closely followed by Super Menthol and McChrystals. Um, the Super Menthol had a little bit more flavour to it. McChrystals was a nice menthol snuff, but J.H. Wilson's Medicated 99 was not for me at all. Way too dry, way too powdery, too fine. So just trickling down the back of my throat. So, um... Yeah, there's a couple more snuff reviews there for you guys. Um, hopefully my throat will clear up in the next couple of days. I've got the new Party Gas Serie E number 2 to try. And that is a freaking monster of a cigar. Five and a half inches by 54, which for a Cuban is big. And the Party Gas are big, bold cigars. From what I read from reading Mitch over at Seagulls Limited, they're richer, bigger, bolder than the D4. So I can't wait to try those. A couple more pipe tobaccos to try. So hopefully, guys, I'll be back very, very soon with some tobacco reviews. But for the time being, while I've got this cold, I'm just going to be powering my way through this uh, rather large tin of Hedges L260. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. And like I say, I'll be back very, very soon. Um, one other thing, big thanks to all of you again for subscribing. 6,000 channel views but now. I'm still amazed that so many people want to watch my videos. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. So, because I'm such a good shot, um, this is the snuffs again. So I'll get in a bit closer so you can see them. Um, we started off with the McChrystals, which is this one just here. Kind of a typical sort of menthol kind of smell. Uh, then after that we moved on to some of the J.H. Wilson's Medicated 99. I can't find the original uh, the original tin of this I had open, so there's an unopened packet. Uh, then there was some Wilson's Super Menthol, which is a damn strong menthol snuff. And I've just finished it off with a little bit of uh, a little bit of hedges there. God, that stuff's good. In fact, I enjoyed it so much. I'm gonna have to have a little bit more. I think.